Welcome back to Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We thank you for joining us again, and we are joined by State Senator Gloria Negretti McLeod, and we thank you for joining us. The budget was passed miraculously on time in June, only Democratic support. That being said, the budget made certain assumptions that certain revenues would come in, and under the budget passed, if those revenues don't come in, there will be automatic triggers. We've already seen projections, and they're coming in below than expected. Are you ready to see those automatic triggers to schools, to prisons, to welfare uh, programs? No, are we ready? Absolutely not. But the, the projections are that if the revenues, as you said, mm -hmm. do not come in, then triggers are then automatic. automatic. Put in, yeah. So we, will, we could conceivably be called back maybe later this year to see where we are. Uh, because if the revenues continue to drop, then they will be put in. Here's the challenge. We know that in order to increase revenue, you need a two-thirds vote. That is clear, either taxes or fees. Your Republican colleagues have said they will not support any increase in revenue. It's looked as if they were going to allow the ballot proposition to allow an extension of sales tax and other revenues. So what, what are you going to do? I mean, do you have more cuts to make? Well, then it, it appears that we would have to. It's unfortunate that, uh, that there are people that elected that choose not to govern. So, you know, we then it falls on the Democrats to, to do all the work and make all the cuts and do everything else. So it's unfortunate that that's the way it goes, but that, that's what it is. I want to talk about the areas that you have represented over the last several years. It's a very interesting community. You have uh, traditionally represented uh, far east Los Angeles County, far west San Bernardino County. Uh, through redistricting, we see those communities sticking together somewhat. Talk to me about the challenges representing those two different counties over the last few years. Well, I've represented uh, basically that same area for 16 years in different right. facets. But uh, the, the thing that does is that I think Los Angeles County forgets that it has Pomona in its county. It does. Because it's over the hill. Right. And San Bernardino County, because the seat is 35 miles the other way east, they kind of forget us over here so we become a community of interest and I think that's why the redistricting commission put us together because that community has always been in place. As you know there are some very serious concerns being voiced by the Republican Party as well as MALDEF, the Mexican American Legal Defense Fund, specifically relating to the state senate seats. You're in the state senate now. Um, what do you make of these concerns being voiced and the threats of litigation, the threats of a referendum to reverse the commission's lines? Well, I guess the, uh, the referendum is put on by the Republicans talking about the uh, Senate seats. Now, here's the funny part. In my seat, my Senate district stayed virtually the same. Mm. Added, added Chino, which I represented in the assembly right. for six years and in the school board. So it added that little component and then add a little component over in the east, Grand Terrace, which is a city right. of 6,000 people. In the so county. basically, right. that seat stayed the same, kept that community of interest together. What we see is the Republican Party is very concerned about this, the way the seats were drawn, because they believe they could lose two Senate seats, and as a result, there could be a two-thirds majority by the Democratic Party. Well, when the commission started, everybody was talking about the the pronostications of, mm -hmm. you know, who was going to lose, and it, it was always assumed that the Republicans would be losing some seats, both in the Assembly and in, just because of the population shift, the growth of Latinos in, in the whole, probably all interior. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Her name is Senator Gloria Negretti McLeod. My name is Brad Pomerantz. If you want, want to watch more editions of Local Edition, just sign on to Time Warner Cable, Video On Demand Channel 1, and then go to Local, and then go to My Government. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Again, we're going to send you back to HLN.